Hello, this is Crystal Racer Gear doing a special review of Kimi Raikkonen and how I would have reacted to Kimi Raikkonen's career over Twitter had Twitter existed from 2001 onwards. Oh, look at this New York kid. He's just managed to finish fourth at Austria and Canada. I'm, I'm hearing all this news about Kimi could replace Mika Hakkinen at McLaren. Please, Ron, make it happen. The kid's got talent. I, I know you. I know Nick Heidfeld has been a McLaren Junior driver for so many years, but Kimmy's a bad driver. You better sign him up, please. 2001 Italy. Get in! Kimmy Räikkönen is going to be a McLaren driver in 2002. I can't wait for next season. 2002. Oh, my God! Kimmy's going to win the French Grand Prix! Alec McNish, you stupid Scotsman! What are you doing? Blowing up your Honda on the side of the Adelaide hairpin! No! Kimmy's gone wide! No! No, no, no! How dare you! Oh my god, Kimmy's been robbed of his first win! How dare you! 2002 Belgium. Oh my god, is he going to keep his foot flat through Olivier Panis' Honda Smoke? He is! Oh my god, he's got a qualified second on the grid! My god, if he's not going to become a world champion, then there is no god in his, in his F1 world. 2003. Oh my god, Gibby's shoving Michael Schumacher on the road here! Come on, Gibby, show Schumi some stick! Yes, yeah, that's my man! That's my man. Oh my word, he's been given a, a drive through penalty. FIA, you are a bunch of absolute. Oh well. Oh, on to Malaysia. Oh my word, Gibby's going to get through the whole field here from seventh place. And he's going to do a two stop strategy. And look at the lead he's building. He's going to win this race by 40 seconds. Yes! Kimi Räikkönen is a Grand Prix winner! Oh my god! He's gonna... He might actually hit Michael Schumacher's winning streak! No, 2003 Nürburgring! Come on now, Kimi. You are gonna win this race and you are going to take this championship fight to Michael Schumacher. Look, everyone. Look at how well Kimi is driving that two-year-old McLaren. Oh my goodness, Mercedes! How could you build your engine so unreliably? It's just got bang on lap 27. Oh my lord, I absolutely hate Formula 1. D d I don't want to watch this sport anymore. 2003 Japan. And Kimi Raikkonen finishes second. Michael Schumacher wins the championship. Well, he only lost it by two points, but I'm so proud of you, Kimi. You are going to be on your way to becoming a multiple world champion. I know it. I know it. 2004. What the actual F? Why is Kimmy? Why have Mercedes built a, yet another unreliable engine? Uh, and that MP419 is a, is a hovel of shite. That car is an absolute dog. 2004 Belgium. Come on, Kimmy! Get that car to victory lane! Yes! Yes! That, my friends, is a mark of a of a definite future multiple world champion. He's done it again. Kimmy Räikkönen, what a magician. 2005. Oh, my God, what is that? Another 10th place trick penalty again? What? What the hell is wrong with Mercedes? Are oh, Mercedes incapable of building a reliable engine? I mean, McLaren have finally built a fast car in the MP420 and... Oh my god! Oh my god, no! It's an Nürburgring! Can Kimmy hold on? Can, can it... Can, 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 can it... Will his suspension hold on? No! No! It's just got bang! Oh my god! Why do I do this to myself? Why do I watch Formula 1? What have I done to this earth taste? What has Kimmy done to, the, to, to, to get treated so badly by the racing gods? 2005 Brazil. Fernando Alonso is the new world champion. I hate this sport so much. 
2005 Japan. Come on, Gimme! You can do it! P17 on the green! You can go and beat Jane Garner this again! Yes! Good job, Gimme! Oh, Jane Cardo Fizzy Kenner, you are washed. I love you, Fizzy, but you are completely finished. Sorry, mate. I'm not going to support you anymore. But Kimmy Raikkonen, I bloody love you. 2006. Ah, oh, jeez. This car's pretty slow, isn't it? Oh, look. Kimmy's managed to get his third pole position at Italy again. But once again, Kimmy finishes second because the car's not quick enough. What? <laughs> And, um, oh, what's that? Kimmy's going to Ferrari next season. Oh, okay, that's a bit, that's awkward. I'm not re I don't really like Ferrari at all. But hopefully they might build him a slightly faster and more reliable car next season. 2007. Yes! Gatsy Magatsy! Kimmy Raikkonen well, it's good, has won the Australian Grand Prix. His first race for the scooter here. I bloody love you, Ferrari. Fonsa Kimmy, Fonsa Ferrari. Gatsy for Gatsy, Glatsy Mini. Dandy Lavorno, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Next six races. Oh my god, why did Kimmy move to Ferrari? I mean, look at McLaren. They've got a bare car. Look at Hamilton and Alonso run away from the Ferraris. Who the hell told Kimmy that leaving McLaren would be a good idea? 2007, Brazil. Oh my god! If everything stays as it is, Kimmy Roiken is going to become a world champion! Please! Yes! World champion at last! Effing finally! God, I'm so proud of you, Kimmy! You are a legend! 2008. Oh, goodness me. What has happened to this season? Oh, look, we're in Belgium. Kimmy might finally win his first race in half, a, what's it, three or four months here at Spa, and he's bagging wheels of Hamilton. Oh, my, Hamilton's gone off the road and got advantage. And, um, oh, he's giving Kimmy the place back, but he's overtaken him again at the hairpin. They've surely got to throw the book at Lewis Hamilton for that. Absolute blatant daylight robbery. And oh my God, Kimmy, you've crashed out. That, oh, well, you're not going to be defending your championship then. But then, of course, Rory have been going around your back, changing the suspension against your wishes because Michael Schumacher is a bitter old con who can't get over the fact that they wanted you, Kimmy, instead of him as their team leader disgraceful team 2009 oh my word for Rory you've built an absolute dog of a car I absolutely hate you oh what's that oh Kimmy's won the Belgian Grand Prix well that my friends was all Kimmy Raikkonen dragging that dog of a car to victory lane again just like he did in 2004 with McLaren Oh, what's that? Oh, you're, you're replacing Kimmy with Fernando Alonso. Yeah, well, here's my big middle finger up for you, Ferrari. You've ruined Kimmy's career, and now he's going to go off to rallying because he's had enough of Formula 1. Thank you so much for ruining Kimmy's career. 2012. Is, is Kimmy coming back to Formula 1? Oh, he is. Oh, boy, it's the Lotus. Ah. Uh. Oh, look, Kimmy's finished second again. Look at Kimmy doing a very solid job dragging that Lotus into contention. It's not a fast car, but with Kimmy in it, they're competitive. Abu Dhabi. What's that? Oh, my God, Lewis has broken down. Kimmy's going to win the race. Yeah, that's right, Kimmy. You know what you're doing. Don't you tell, don't you let them annoy you. Annoy you. you know better than them. 2013. Yes, Kimmy's won the first race in Australia. Could he actually pull off a miracle and win a championship in a Lotus Renault? Oh, no, he's been lapped at Canada. Oh, God. Oh, no, they've made the tyres harder after the British Grand Prix debacle. Oh, what's that? Kimmy's going back to Ferrari. Oh. Um, oh, right, he's going there because he wasn't getting paid by Lotus. Well, thank you very much, Lotus, for bringing Kimmy back to F1 but you didn't pay him his money so uh, thank you but no thanks 
2014, 15, and 16, and 17. I, I am, oh, I, look, Ferrari, you, you really are treating Kimmy like a piece of turd. I mean, 2014 was bad enough with you lot sucking up to Fernando Alonso and building a car with excessive understeer because, you know, Fernando Alonso has no idea how to set up a car and likes his cars to have video game characteristic. I mean, what sort of driver drives it, drives his car with a video game setup and, Oh, right, we're at Monaco and Kimmy's taking pole position, but yet you swap them around. You swap Kimmy and Seb around because you want Seb to win the championship. Well, let's fast forward to Singapore and... Oh, would you look at that. Sebastian Vettel has taken everyone out. Why on earth, Ferrari, do you support Sebastian Vettel over Kimmy? You are a bunch of arseholes. 2018. Come on, Kimmy. You can win... Come on, Kimmy, you can get Paul here at Baku. Oh, my God, you've ruined your last set of super solves. What? Oh, my God. Oh, oh, look, Kimmy, you've got a collision with Ocon. Oh, God, you're going to finish sick today, aren't you? Oh, dear, you're going to get sacked, aren't you? Oh, you're going to finish second. Oh, that's a miracle. Oh, and what's this? Oh, everyone's getting excited about Sean Leclerc. Oh, shut up. Oh, my God. Look at you journalist arseholes. You just want to shit stump on Kimmy. I hate every single one of you. And fast forward to Monza. Come on, Kimmy. You can take your first win in five and a half years. No. Damn you, Lewis Hamilton. I, oh, I hate Formula 1 so much. 2018 Cota. Get Effing finally! Kimmy has finally won a race in five and a half years. Oh my lord. Tears streaming down my face. I can barely speak on this webcam video. Thank you for supporting and watching this channel. And, you know, I can't wait to see Kimmy go to Alfa Romeo. Well, where he will be treated like a number one. So, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to Crystal Racing. And I'll see you again next time.